Let's play Go to the Dump, game A3 in the Math Card Games book. This is a great addition game that provides lots of repetition to learn the basic facts that equal 10. This game may seem very simple at first, but it's laying a foundation for the math in the future. When you add long columns of numbers, one strategy is to make tens. If you have these combinations that make 10 clearly in your mind, you can do this much more quickly and easily. Remember, our number system is a base 10 system with a sub-base of 5. Therefore, understanding the combinations that make 10 will benefit your child for many years to come. To play, you'll need the green basic cards. Use 6 of each number from 1 to 9. The deck will then have 54 cards in it. To learn or reinforce the facts, you can also use the Al Abacus as you play. Go to the Dump is a variation of the familiar children's game Go Fish. The Dump is what we call the stack of cards in the center. And rather than making pairs with identical matches, Go to the Dump, we make pairs that equal 10. The object of this game is to collect the most cards. Are you ready to begin? Yes. yes. All right, first, we're going to hand out five cards to each student. Okay, the first thing I want you to do is look through your cards and see if you have any combinations that make 10. If you do, I want you to lay them in front of you just like this in two piles. And if you need a little help, I'll help you. Joelle, let's look at your first card. Wait, let's put your pile of cards right down here, okay? And turn them over so we can see your first number. Okay, you've got the number six. Can you enter six on your abacus, please? All right. How many beads would you need to make 10? Four. four. Okay, so look through your cards and see if you have a four. Excellent, so you have six and four and that makes 10. We're gonna clear your abacus and do the same thing with your next number. Enter three. Are you getting all your matches okay? I see Olivia has two matches already. Okay, you need a seven. Do you have a seven in your hand? Okay, well let's start right there. and. Let's see, who is the youngest? All right, Stephen, you're the youngest, so I'll help you get your matches and then you can begin. Do you have any matches that make 10? Very good, you found one, so put them in a pile, in two piles in front of you, you're on your way. Do you have any other matches? All right, do you know what you're gonna ask Miss Olivia for? Okay, if you don't have a seven, you tell him. Go to the dump. Very good, Olivia, go to the dump. And his turn is over, and Olivia, it's your turn to ask Joelle. Joelle, do you have an eight? Look through your hands and see if you have one. So you take the card and give it to her. Now, Olivia's got all her pairs made. So does that mean the game is over? Uh -uh, she gets another five Very good, Olivia, you get to go back to the dump. Very good. Olivia, you get to choose five more from the dump and the game continues. Steven, do you have a four? Go to the dump. Oh, and now the dump is all gone. So now you don't have to just ask Joelle. I mean, just Olivia, you may ask Joelle or me. Okay, so you may choose whoever you like to ask. Who are you going to ask this time? Joelle. Do you have a five? Very good. He was listening, wasn't he? He knew you had that five. And because he got what he wants, he gets to go again. Do you have a two? No. No. All right. And now it's Olivia's turn. Very good. Okay. Now to see who won, we stack our cards one on top of the other and compare the quantities. Okay. And we can tell who has the most, right? I think Olivia won this time. 